Here I am, Leon C, aka Morpheus. And I have something special for you today. And again, like I always discuss, my subjects is pretty much a lot across the board. You're going to get something from this channel because it's your channel. I don't stick with the, what, one topic. I am a red pill on everything because I am Morpheus. And in this academy of wow, men, it is my task as a professor, or shall I say your professor, to open up your eyes and give you a different perspective on things that you probably don't know or you need to hear or listen to. I'm going to read something for you, and uh, a lot of you probably know about this incident. It happened, uh, let's see, somewhere in North Carolina. But I'm going to go ahead and read it. Reading it will be a whole lot more better. This is according to the York, the New York Daily News. Listen carefully. A woman and a man spit on each other. And a fight. They fight at gas at the gas station amongst fear of gas shortage. Now I'm gonna tell you about the video because some of you probably watched this video too. I'm gonna see if I can get a link to send it to you. Or I may not have to. But let me go ahead and read it to you. This is provided by the New York Daily News, once again. A man and a woman were recorded spitting and fighting with each other at North Carolina gas station. The spit really hit the fan. They're trying to be funny. LOL. And of course it says it continues again. The North Carolina gas station, as seen in a viral video, shared Tuesday. A woman appears to spit into... Listen. The woman appears to spit into the driver's window of a parked car before a man gets out and spits towards her. The dispute occurred after the woman's car. Listen carefully again. Once again. The dispute occurred after. After the woman's car collided with the man's car. Because she tried to cut in line for a gas pump at the Marathon Station in Knightsdale. That's what the Instagram user said. And the video said that as well. According to the local news station. Now, here's where the Shangri-La come in place. The man was charged with assault on a female. Listen carefully. I'm going to say that again. The man was charged with an assault on a female as well as damage to personal property. After Nightingale's cops resp responded to the incident. Now, let's read about her. The woman, meanwhile, was handed a simple assault charge. The incident occurred amidst concerns of running out of fuel throughout the East Coast after the Colonial Pipeline was closed down following a ransomware attack. Gas prices exceeded to $3 per gallon on Wednesday as many attempted to fill up the, gar the cars and Knight Knightsdale is about 13 miles east of downtown. I don't know how to pronounce that. Raleigh. Rolf, Rella, whatever. R A L E I G H. Strange, funny name. However, I'm going to say something that's going to make some of you uncomfortable, but you know what? I don't give a damn. Because I'm the professor here. My name is Morpheus. You're not. If you don't like it, go make your own channel. Be sensitive and soft somewhere else, but I'm going to tell you like it is, like I always do. 
The first of all, what catches me, and I'm going to talk about it while it's down here right now, the ransomware attack. Y'all not going to like this, but I told you before, that's what the hell you get. Y'all keep playing with computers. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Suck it up. Take the good with the bad. If somebody wants to lock down your personal property because you want to be dumb enough to keep putting your life on the internet, deal with it. Don't end up crying when you lose your bank account. Don't cry when somebody hacked your credit cards. Don't cry when somebody takes your social security because you American people are dumb as rocks. You want to keep playing around computers? Have at it. There's been stories in the past about the Sony theater being hacked. There's all kinds of hackers online. There's all kinds of people who do scamming online. There are so many uh, false applications and apps that are scanning your phone and taking your information and getting into your privacy on the often to the point where there's good apps like DuckDuckGo. Yeah, I know I just promoted them. <laughs> good luck with that, but they're good. Like DuckDuckGo, who uh, is showing you that you need to come up with a different type of privacy app to save yourself and to keep yourself secure when you're going online. To let you know that there are people out there who have malicious potential. Especially at a time where the world is the way that it is today. Or you could say the decline of humanity, the downfall of humanity isn't where it used to be because... Humanity is de-evolving, so people are capable of damage. They're capable of stealing, killing, and taking whatever the hell that they want to do because they are desperate to survive, but you morons continue to play with fire so you get burnt by it. Morpheus don't care about your stupidity. Y'all don't like it? That's what the hell you get. I don't use it. You do. You're the dummy, not me. If I tell you, don't walk in that room because it's dark in there, you're going to get jacked. Somebody's going to kick you and knock you down and take your wallet. You're going to go in that room and somebody's going to smack you in the back of your head. Okay. One million of you people will go in the room anyway and don't care. And then you get hacked. You get a blackout situation going on. You get somebody who wants to uh, uh, infiltrate a bank or something like that and steal everybody's bank accounts because y'all dumb. You love it. You would love it. So that, again, that's what the hell you get. You don't want to listen? I have no remorse for stupid. Y'all keep playing online. There's a such thing as doing too much. I know y'all heard about that before, right? I know y'all heard about that before. Have your grandpa and your grandma ever told you that uh, uh, what do you, the minimum is the most? Have you ever heard this expression where people say you're doing too much or doing the most? Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Sometimes you got to shop online. I get it. Sometimes you have to reach out to someone who may or may not be in town. I get that as well. Oftentimes you may not have not, you may not have the ability to reach out like you want to to somebody who's at a distance. That happens on a day-to-day -day basis. I understand that as well. We had a discussion about this before, have we not? In one of my previous audios, when I was talking about that you go, the average person goes too far, especially when it comes to the automobile technology. It's one thing to say that you're going to make an electric car because you want to save on the uh, fuel emissions. I get that. You want to change how the uh, the environment is uh, being filled with toxins and uh, carbons, right? Pollution, air pollution. Noise pollution, sound pollution. Listen, Morpheus isn't behind the times. I understand. I get that. That doesn't mean that I'm still going to enjoy your humanized, computerized, stupid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop. I'm about to. I'm um, getting ready to roast y'all ass real good. Getting ready to take you to a place where you don't want me to go. You're all funny looking toys. Okay, I understand. But you need it sometime. But there's a minimum to it. There is a length in which too much is too much. The fact is, too much is never enough for y'all. It's never enough. And then you got to have an, an autonomous car to drive for you. And not only do you want to go to an autonomous car that drive for you, y'all funny looking strange people that have come from Saturn because you're not original human beings. You can't be living a life that you... No, let me take that back. 
functioning as you do, walking automaton, zombie ass type of feet, uh, people, individuals, uh, sheeple. Y'all need to go and get super crews. Y'all need a car that's going to cruise for you. You need all these dumb uh, safety mechanisms because you don't know how to drive yourself. I'm sorry. No, I take that back. I'm not sorry. If you're pitiful, you're pitiful. If you're weak, you're weak. If all you know how to do is push a button, you are your own sickness, not Morpheus. I'm just the messenger and telling you that you're weak. Don't come over here and arm wrestle with me because I swear to you. I swear to you. I'm going to make you sign a piece of paper, a waiver, that if I break your little scrawny arm, you can't sue me. Because all you know how to do is push a push a paper and pencil and push a button because you lazy enough to do so. Because we never know what the minimum is. All these places, major corporations have been hacked for years to come. Well, let me say, since the increase of technology and computers, how about that? The dependency online. You had all these warnings for years to come, but yet y'all still stuck on stupid. It amazes me. It amazes me. Instead of you cracking down and saying, well, you know, maybe we should just do it at a minimum. You do more. You live online. You do more than shopping online. You function online. You socialize online. You FaceTime online. You uh, donkey dunk online. You do everything online. You don't hold back anything. So when the devil comes in line and takes your crap, I could have said something else. I just don't talk like that. I do my best to keep my mouth clean, even though it is ratchet sometimes. But get over it. I'm a man. Deal with it. Even though you know there's going to be hackers. Even though you have an idea. No, I'll take that back. Bozos don't because y'all don't care. No, dummies will keep going down the hill and jump over it. Even though there's like thousands of bodies down there. So you just want to be dummy number uh, uh, one million and one. That's fine. If you want to do it, go ahead. But you have all the you have all the messages, you have all the warning signs from years before now. Apple phone, smartphone, dumb phone, Androids, computers here, LG, uh, phone companies, light switches, light companies, this different places that have dealt with attacks over the years. And y'all still, you will still put your whole life, your social security, your bank account, your whole information, everything about your kids, your facial uh, recognition system. Your fingerprints, you put everything, you, you listen, you give your life away. Nobody's going to come and take it. You give it to them. If I was an invader, okay, I don't have to ask you for your information. You give it to me because y'all dumb enough to do so. You are, y'all always talking about, oh, privacy, this, and oh my God, Edward Snowden was trying to warn us. No, Edward Snowden was, yeah, trying to be a whistleblower and help you guys out, but y'all still dummies anyway. You don't care. You don't care because you don't care about yourself, apparently. You don't care. How the hell are you going to get ransomware, malware, hackerware, spyware? Where is this stuff coming from? Because y'all putting everything online. You give your whole entire life away. I always say this because some of you don't get it. If you don't sell it, nobody's going to buy it. If nobody's going to buy it, you can't sell it. Same thing as if somebody's taking something. If you don't have it out there, nobody's going to come and get it because it's not there to get. But y'all do it because we're American. Woo! Red, white, and blue. Stupid. Yeah, you are. I know y'all don't like it, but like I said, too bad because you're too sensitive. You're too soft. Nobody can't tell the truth anymore because it's too difficult because you love your lackluster, lazy, soft, pantsy, pantsy-ass lifestyle. And then when somebody come and hack your stuff, y'all want to cry about it. All this chaos is happening because you're dumb enough to accept it. That's your ideology. That's your future right there. Uh, kids, if y'all listen to this, if you're 13 and 14 years old, okay, your mommy and your daddy failed you because they were idiots, son and daughter. Your future is based on uh, invaders coming in to take your life by way of uh, cyber attacks because your mommy and daddy is smart enough to create a society of idiots that's going to put all your business on the computer. So be prepared, uh, Sarah, who's 15, and Billy, who's uh, 16 or 17. Be prepared to get get prepared for the next blackout. Get prepared for the next uh, super hack. 
Get prepared for people to say, oh my God, uh, uh, what do you call that? Oh my God, the votes was hacked. The votes were strange. The, why was the votes kind of twisted around? I don't understand. Because you want to do everything by computers because y'all geniuses. You come from Harvard University to be computers yourself. You know, it's almost like you go to a manufacturer plant. Computers, com, uh, computers making computers. So you go to the, you go to the uh, junior colleges or the, uh, the, uh, the community college or even the prestige colleges to get programmed to program the society to be as idiotic as yourself so therefore you get hacked eventually because you don't go to these colleges to get smarter to do things manually you go to the college to go create a uh, a dumb phone in a droid that's what you do you go to college to go make a droid that's going to fly over a building with a camera on it so you can spy on everybody's business instead of minding your own damn business that's what you do because you're so smart you don't have a life of your own and because you are so lifeless to create technology and stuff that's going to make people's lives worse and not better, guess what's going to happen, sir dumb a lot? Your ass is going to get hacked. Get ready to bend over and take it raw. You're not going to get no mercy from me. I told you who I am. I am an alpha and I hate dumb people. Do you understand? I'm not saying hatred for a culture. This is not hate speech towards an individual. This is not hate speech towards anybody directly. So if you think that it is, take your panties somewhere else and stop being so damn soft. I take the I take the damn gloves off over here. Okay? I hate stupidity. That's what I hate. As an alpha, I hate weak-minded people. And you are a weak-minded person if you think that because you live this first world cush, cush, soft, pantsy-ass lifestyle that nothing's going to happen to you, you got a reality check. You've been getting a reality check from years now, but you idiots keep signing up to give your information away. You keep letting them put stuff in your skin, under your skin, in your veins. You keep letting them put stuff on you, over you, and around you, and you're sitting there like, oh, it's okay, everything's fine. Duh, 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 duh. Everything's fine. Go ahead and take my life, sir. Go ahead, hacker. I don't love myself, nor my children, nor my grandchildren. Forget about Billy and Sarah, who's 15 and 16 years old, whatever. You know, we don't. they don't need to have a future. Let's just put everything online and force them to do everything by the computer. I told y'all before, there is nothing better in aesthetic and very essential to your brain modem skills, your concentration, and your signature ID than to sit there and learn how to do cursive handwriting. There's nothing better than to sit there in front of a natural, uh, normal, manual typewriter where you got to get the word from word right. Where you mess up, you got to take the whole page out and start all over again. I bet you, you won't make that many mistakes. But no, no, Sarah. Sarah, I'm sorry. Eight-year-old Billy or uh, Chris, you're eight years old. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chris, that your your parents were idiots like this because they didn't understand. They didn't understand, Billy, that there is something beautiful with you having the ability to think for yourself and to create, correct your own mistakes. What your parents and your great-great-parents today and the uh, the Bill Gates of the world, okay, and some of your Elon Musks because they want to make musty cars, Okay, that, um, let me stop, because I'm going to do some real roasting here. I'm going to do some real roasting. My oven is hot right now, and it is ready to go. It's on brawl, brawl your ass, you understand? Okay, they want you, Billy, sorry, they want you to need to push a uh, a spell check on your computer where the computer will correct the handwriting for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the generation don't want you to think for yourself, Billy, at eight years old. They want you to grow up into a world where the computer thinks for you because your parents love you so much, Billy. I apologize. I may not be your culture, Billy. I'm not your father, Billy. I, you may not know me, Billy, but I, trust me, I, I do care about you and I'm your friend. You can call me Morpheus. I'm Morpheus. I am Morpheus. And as Morpheus... I've been giving red pills to your parents and your your great great parents and uh, the Elon Musk's of the world, musty ass of the world. Okay, but they don't want to listen. Okay, and they continue to put this technology out there, Billy, because they you got to understand, Billy, the humans that have created you, 
that I brought you into existence, they didn't think for themselves. They were bozos, Billy. And uh, they put themselves in the position where they depend on computers because they don't depend on themselves. So you have to understand that you have to guard yourself, your privacy and your life because they made you compromisable because they loved you that much. They went to Harvard to be idiots. OK, Billy. So uh, be prepared for another hack to happen. OK, be prepared for another blackout. Be prepared for other situations to happen because people are very smart. They're very smart, Billy. OK, they put all their information on the computer because they can't think for themselves. So if you want to save yourself, Billy, just carry around a notepad and a pencil and, and write in a journal. OK, learn your hand, your cursive handwriting, Billy, and you, Sarah. OK, uh, don't be afraid to uh, correct your spelling by erasing it with the eraser. Don't be afraid of using whiteout. OK, go to a dictionary, open it up and find out how you spell the word in the definition. Don't be afraid to do that because I promise you as a professor, it's going to make you smarter and better. And apparently it's going to make you better than the generation that brought you into this dumb world that you're in today. You got it. I'm not your parent, but I do care about your future. Unlike them. Now we're going to go to the next thing here. I had to get that out of the way for some of you. I looked at the video in this situation and this is what happened in the video. This is red pill right here. The man was already in line with his car. Listen carefully. I already read it twice. Or I, when I was reading it, I said it twice. So you can catch the drip. She tried to cut him off. That's an assault right there. That's reckless endangerment right there. She tried to cut him off in her, in her car, right? She gets out of her car. Listen, she gets out of her car. She walks up to the window and she spits at him through the window. And what did he do? He returned fire. He returned what she done to him. So why is it that she gets a simple, I'm just going to give her an assault? She just said it was a simple assault, but we're going to give him assault and danger of property, stuff like that. What about his property? What about the fact that she pretty much ran her car into his to jump in line? And it, it clearly said that they had a spitting match with each other. But yet women, okay, and here's the thing. Here's what I really wanted to catch before anything. Let me see if I can read it again how they said it. And the, listen, the man was charged with assault on a female. Stop right there. Stop right there. Y'all not going to like this either. Y'all not going to like this either. Y'all may y'all may feel uncomfortable about Morpheus after this. But I'm going to keep it raw. And people, listen, people want the truth today. And I'm going to tell it like it is. Y'all want the truth. I'm going to give you the truth. You don't want me sugarcoated. You want to hear exactly what it is. You don't want me to pretend like I'm a, a program, like a, a politician. You don't want me to act like I'm a passive beta male and scared to speak however I think, what I know, and what I feel. You want the raw facts because America is tired of this bullshit. Do you understand? We are tired of this. So I'm going to tell you like it is. If a woman is bold enough, brave uh, enough, to pick up her hand or open up her mouth or step in the ring with a lion. She is asking to get knocked the hell out. Do you understand or do I got to spell it out for you in a different English language or a different jargon where you can understand or maybe send your ass back to college so you can comprehend what I'm saying? Don't poke the lion if you don't want the lion to come and bite your ass. Do you understand? You don't put your, nobody should put their hands on anybody. No one should spit on anybody. But if she's bold enough to ball up her fist and swing it at a man, be prepared because there's going to be a man who's going to swing back. So why would they say an assault on a female as if that's the ultimate, if that's the ultimate wrong? As a matter of fact, okay, you go to the zoo or somewhere. There's warning signs. There is warning signs that it tell you, sir, there is a lion 
in that you can't go in that cage. As a matter of fact, they got like a bulletproof glass. They got a cage that you really got to go through very, very strict uh, uh, barricades to get to that line. They're doing that for a reason. There is electrical. Um, I know a lot about electricity. As a matter of fact, there is voltage lockout boxes that will warn you way before you get to the circuit that this this wire down here is live. Do you know what a live wire is? That means when you put your retarded hands on it, it's going to shock you until you pass away and become one of the, again, uh, one million and one person who's in the ditch of making a foolish decision. They do that for a reason to warn you, don't mess with this because it can hurt you. So in reverse, they got this thing in this, in this uh, state today in the, in the America, in America where women can pretty much get away with anything, whereas she has no accountability. They don't warn her about the situation, but when a man jumps up, he's wrong all of a sudden. When a man wants to haul off and hit back, he's wrong all of a sudden. Oh, my God, he has an assault on a woman. No, 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 no. You know, okay, women aren't stupid. As a matter of fact, they know better. You see this, okay, let's say for a woman, for example, she come and see me, she know full well, I'm 240, 45-something pounds, Six feet, you don't, don't you put your hands on this guy. Don't you do it. Do not get in Morpheus's face. Don't you do it. Ma'am, that would be the dumbest thing. For you. Do you see how big this guy is? Do you understand this man is a male? Just because you think you got somewhat of a female privilege, just because every other blue pill beta is feminized like you want them to, so you can walk around like a tuna fish in the face of hungry bears. Just because you got first world privilege, that don't mean you got first world privilege to put yourself in the ring with a lion that's two times bigger than you. Don't you do it. Warning sign. Don't put your hands on him. That should be law right there where she should be at fault for even putting herself in that situation. As a matter of fact, everybody should be sitting back and say, well, that's what the hell you get. Why you touch him? Why you put your hands on him? Why did you get in his face? This isn't promoting violence, no matter what you think you are, because some of y'all are betas anyway. Y'all feminize. You know, you are a generally Americanized individual. That's your problem. You've been in America for too damn long. You need to go somewhere else. Get away from this cursed state and city. This country, because it's getting ready to collide. It's going to go sinking into the into the river and the ocean, just like Atlanta. So get prepared for it, because we're stupid enough to let it happen. You understand? But you should be you should be saying, ma'am, there is a law where you do not assault a person, not a man, but a person. But you got to realize when you are coming towards this man, he's bigger than you. And if he haul off and slap you or hit you, you're in trouble. Don't get mad if you get knocked down because you asked for it. When you get electrocuted and the electrical line is telling you, do not cross the bed. You know, in the construction site on the road, there's barricades. There's yellow cones. There's a cutoff tape that'll let you know, hey, danger, this road is out. Do not come over here. Don't you drive over here. This driveway is freshly paved. Or, uh, there's a down wire and there's some water down here on the ground. If you walk over here, you're going to electrocute it. You and everything that you have and your children. Don't come over here. Why would the why would the electrical line be in trouble for being what it is? Why would the lion get in trouble for being a lion? Why would the construction workers be at fault for this dummy who decided to drive over there anyway into the construction site and get their car stuck in fresh cement? Do you understand? You got this man who is a man who has feelings, who has an idea of life and has his own function as a man. And if a woman is dumb enough to challenge this guy, no matter what type of Ronda Rousey she thinks she is, she can still get knocked the hell out. Do you understand? No matter what type of Serena she thinks she is, no matter what type of I am a UFC fighter, I'm just like China on WWF. I take steroids just like men. Okay, play that role all you want to. You can still get knocked the hell out. Don't mess with the man because even the frailest, ugliest, geekiest, weakest man will body slam you in a second if you get in his face. 
Do you understand? Women need to understand there is a boundary of what you do and what you cannot do. But because we create these monsters, situations like this happen on the news. There's two things that y'all have created. You created a forum where women can assault men without consequence. That's what y'all created. And number two, uh, people and hackers can come and assault you because you do everything online because computers is your life. Computers are fallible. They fail. They have encryptions. They de they become decrepit. They recede sometimes. They become defragmented or fragmented. They get slow sometimes. They get backed up. They get glitches every now and then. But you want to put your whole life on it. You want to put your children's life on it. You want to put your children's children life on it. You want to put your future on it. And everything that's important, prepare for a fall. Prepare to fail. You understand? Prepare to suffer. The most dumbest thing that people could ever do here in America is what they do every day. And that's not think. If you're smart enough to realize there are warning signs everywhere that you go, why would you be dumb enough to go out in the real world and not practice that? That don't make no sense. This this stuff is happening to common dumb people. This stuff is happening to people who just don't care about themselves. You know, I think one of the things that was a failure for God, and that was to give humans free will. I know that's a punch in the stomach because it's almost like I, I ain't going to go there because some of y'all are y'all already pissed off as it is too bad. Y'all don't like me as it is too bad. I'm, I'm not here for you to like me. I'm going to give you the message whether you like it or not. I'm not here because I need you to. Oh, I like Morpheus. No, go ahead and hate me. Go ahead, because when you hate me, I know exactly what type of species you are. I can return the favor real easy because I love dumb people. I love them because they make money. You understand? They make the infrastructure rich. They keep the cops in business. They keep the courts flowing. We love dumb people. Oh, yeah. We love you, morons. Keep it going. Go ahead. Because you know what? You pay my checks. That's what you do. Keep doing stupid like you do. Keep on. You are the thing that keeps America going because you are a fine sheep. Just the way that you are. You are perfect. No, don't change. Continue. Continue because the 20% top people who are rich going to keep getting rich off of you being stupid and making dumb decisions. That's the way it works. If they are already breaking up families, if they already are creating this system where you bring the rip, the woman up and you put the woman in, the, you put the man down. OK, that means that's a program of destruction and disaster. Go ahead and put the cart before the horse. And you know what some women do? Let me tell you this stuff. Y'all, y'all know this already. Yeah, I'm going from one subject to the next, but I'm just um, I'm, I'm blazing across this for a reason. I'm blazing across it for a reason. And I'm getting ready to bring the closer to it as well. I didn't lose my place. OK, you know what some women do? This is why it's so bad. Because some women aren't made to be in authoritative position. What happens is when they get rid of their father or the, the father of their child out of the home, they start delegating tasks to the child that's supposed to be better left to the adult. What that means is the daughter becomes the mother. The son becomes the son husband. So what she ends up doing is she ends up taking the back seat or the passenger seat because after all, she's just a woman. After all, she needs a man to lead her and take her to the right place, but there's no man there. So guess what? She would take and let anything else lead Everything else comes before her. That's why sometimes the government comes before her. That's why uh, getting uh, getting her checks, getting her welfare checks, getting her SSI, getting all this stuff that's provided for her by the government and other people comes before everything else. Because everything else is going to be the leader, not her. Because when a man's not there, it's going to be chaos. But So what ends up happening is the, the, the cart is already before the horse. Now, the cart is before the horse, and it's separated from the horse. Imagine that. Now, you're not going nowhere. Now, guess what happens? Your life ends up in a very low valley. Why? Because the house ends up turned upside down. So you get there, the daughter is running the show. The son husband is running the show. Because the logical father is not there. This is America for you. Welcome to Podunk America. Welcome. Welcome to the red, white, and stupid blue. Get ready for the worst to happen because it's still, it's still happening. Because these little bitty things matter. 
It matters. It can get out of control instantly in the drop of a hat. And why do I say this? Because we have all these tall tale signs. We have all this, all this news, all these, uh, uh, this publications of situations in, in, in global fears, global catastrophes, viral outbreaks, hacking, mass, uh, 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 the catastrophes that occur, right? You know, knife murders. We had all these things happening. And most of you funny looking clown nose, strange individuals who don't belong here on human earth anyway, y'all sit back and, oh, I don't get it. I don't understand. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? I don't know. I went to school. I don't know what red and blue is. I don't know what they da, 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 da. I didn't know that, but this was happening forever. I was born yesterday. I think the world was always this way. No, ladies and gentlemen, the world was better in the past, not today. Your real world is in the past. What's going on today is the results of lackadaisical, careless individuals called parents and leaders. And guess what? We got to suffer for it. So in order to evolve, we got to go backwards. That's what, uh, what's his name? Jordan Peterson said once before. He said he took it right out of my mouth. Yes, our great Jordan Peterson. Before it came out of his mouth, it was already in my book. My book is called 2020 America Rise or Fall Hard by Leon C. 2020 means the 2020s, 2020 vision. I wrote that. I talked about that way before Jordan Peterson said it. It came out of his mouth, but he's right. And I agree with him. And he still gets the credit because he's a decent guy. He has a head on his shoulder, but he made sense. He said, the way that the life is going to function or if we're going to progress forward, we have to move backwards and you're going to have to give up your technology, your dumb phones, the computers and the lifestyle that you have. But you all are not going to do it. And he's right. Y'all not going to do it. You're just going to keep on going and jumping right off of the hill, right into the Grand Canyon, because that's where you want to be. That's your destination. When you are ambitious about destroying yourself, you're going to succeed eventually. And that's what you're doing. Because when you open up the door for evil to come in, it's going to come in. We always have a reverse way of doing things. Why would the man be in, tr in trouble say, oh, he's assault assaulting a female. Why don't she get charged for assaulting a male? You know, if you go to a zoo or you go somewhere and it's, it's shut off, it's a private area for uh, authorized personnel only. Listen, you go back to the back room anyway where you're not authorized to be there. You start messing with switches and you get electrocuted. You're still going to be prosecuted mm -hmm. because you wasn't allowed back there. You shouldn't have been back there. You shouldn't have been messing with what could hurt you or is only for the authorized individual or person. So you have the potential to be sued or persecuted or prosecuted. So why the hell would it be reversed where you say, well, um, he's wrong for assaulting a woman? No, 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 ma'am. No, sir. No, America. She should be wrong for assaulting a man, for putting herself in that position. Women need to be accountable for their action, just like a man should be accountable for his action. Why would he be as why would he be wrong, but she not be wrong for her action? She needs to take accountability. She shouldn't have put her hands on him. She should have she should have practiced self-control. But America do not produce that. Your world does not want you to know this. They broadcast this stuff on your dumb phone. They put this on your computer. They put this on the news to put y'all to sleep because they want you to stay dumb and stupid so you, they can make money off of the bad decisions you make. So you can go out there and be unaccountable for your actions and have no insight and no logic and get yourself in some type of situation where either you are in prison or you are being dragged out on the stretcher for messing with the wrong lion. That's what they want to happen to you because when you're on a stretcher, somebody gets paid. That's right. When you get knocked down, somebody gets paid. When you when the cops is called, somebody's going to get paid. The whole justice system is going to get paid. The government, the cops, the judges, everybody get paid off of your stupidity. So they don't want you to be warned. Don't go back in that room because there's going to be some trouble. They want you to feel like, yeah, I can do it because I'm a woman. I am independent. I don't need him. And I can. I'm just as strong as he and he is. Let me go poke the lion because I can do it. And you do it. Everybody else is paid while they laughing at you with a broken arm and a black eye, probably a twisted neck at the same time because you smart, 
because you graduated from Harvard to get just that. Y'all need to wake the hell up. This red pill is about life. You understand? This isn't limited to man and woman situation. This is limited to what's going on in your world. This is limited to wake you up. Stuff don't happen. You accept it to happen. Let me say that again. Stuff don't happen. You all make it happen. Things don't occur in your world, in your American construct. You make it happen in your American construct because you go along with it. You go along with the program, so you accept it, so don't cry about it. Man up, woman up, and deal with your dumb behavior. Clean your room up if you want to change it. If you don't want to change it, stay in your dirt. And that's what you are all doing. And guess what? It's going to happen again because y'all not going to change because you don't want to wake the hell up. You need to realize they are putting you to sleep daily with all kinds of things. I was able to pick out two of the situations out of this. And y'all probably look at it, oh, well, it's just a crazy situation. Dang it. Oh, violence again. A woman jumps out of the car and assaults a man. That's all they want you to see. Because they want you to sensitize you from the violence that is being erupted around your country instead of telling you about what's causing the violence. You understand? What's telling what instead of telling you the root of the issue and solving the issue. I'm here on this channel to solve the issue and tell you what the problem is so you can get off your frill ass and do something about it. Do you get my drift or do you need some salt and pepper on it? I said what need to be said. That's the lesson here in the, the Academy of Wow Men. And it's also a wake up call to listen and hear what I am saying. Pull your head, your ostrich, funny looking skinny head out of the ground and think about what's going on in your real world. The real world don't give a damn about you. They want you dumb, weak. They want you to poke the lion. They want you to jump off the cliff because somebody is going to get paid on your broken body. Do you get me? And somebody's going to get paid when somebody hacks you as well. When your car breaks down, when your super crews cruises right underneath an 18 wheeler and puts you to sleep permanently somebody's gonna get paid when your autonomous car runs into the desert somewhere non-stop and flip over or flip somebody else over somebody's gonna get paid in the end it's all about money it's not about you and your functionality if they cared about you and your functionality computers wouldn't have to think for you it'll be all about making your human superiority your human senses better but instead it's to make your human system and senses obsolete by your acceptance. Do you got me?